Hi guys, this is the first video, um, we are going to have the example to how to clear your input on Formic and the, and the first step is to create your React app. You can create the React app and you can put whatever name you want to put in your project, everything. And then you only need to add, sorry, add job and formic. Then you start your application because I create this. Um, your application it's will start then this is a simple application on how to create well on how to clear your inputs my first well I created the form and in so in a little time I'm going to show you how to do it in the first step you see send the the data from the uh, for 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 the from from the form to your console log and this is the code and I will show you how to do it in the first step you have your application and it has the same component function component then I create I create this component I called him form and it and it is in components and form formic in this step where I am going to show you how to clear your inputs with formic in the first step is you need to import react import your sas style sheet import formic import job i am um, i only i am going to talk about only how to clear it i'm not going to talk about how to use formic or job on everything it's only a brief explanation how to use it in the first step we have our class component i use it if you want to use a functional component it is possible too but secondly i grab it the formic grab it the formic component and the first step is the initial values you can put your first name your first number and the validation schema that includes on job job the object and the object only has the first name and you can put a string and it's required and it's not and you can add more validation if you want i only put those things those validation for this moment then the submit when the values of the on submin are going to send yes I create the form the label the input and put type ID on change when you're writing down everything you need the values only you need formic with formic and put the handle submit the function and you get the values and everything I am not going to talk about formic in this moment but the next step is when you click on submit it will be it will be save the values and insert on the console let me check this hi hi values and in this moment uh, and that's all hi values and this is the point we are going to show you 
you need to add a little reset reset form and then you use you have to use it like an values is equal to nothing and then we are going to check this and, and that's all the values high values and the inputs are empty that's all for today see you guys